Oh my goodness, good morning. Um, yeah, you wouldn't believe the time I've had. <laughs> oh my goodness, since my last video. Well, I made my last video and I always kneel on the floor changing a baby. Now I've got to try and sit down, it's all right. Yeah, I always kneel on the floor changing at the changing mat now I couldn't get back up I don't know what I did to my knee my bad knee I think I think what had happened was all the fluid I get on it had all dispersed round to the back of my leg my back of my knee and the pain was excruciating and I couldn't stand yeah, it took me 15 minutes to get off the floor. <laughs> 15 minutes. Ah, oh, since then, I haven't done anything. Well, I've been cooking because Peter just can't cook. And I have been cooking. Um, much to his disgust, he's been telling me to sit down, don't move, don't move, don't do that. Well, today he, oh, uh, he's gone fishing, so I just popped on. I'm going to try and change this one. Little Lily here. Now, I don't know where anything is because he came into the spare room because I always kneel. I always kneel at the f on the floor. I always sit on the floor at the coffee table and eat my food. Really bad, I know, watching the TV. Um, so I don't use this dining room table that I'm on now. Uh, and I did have stuff all over it. Now, he came in the other day and he cleared it off. Now, everything he piled on top of my babies. Yeah. So, I've been trying to sort of thing. He's gone fishing and he's told me not to do anything. But I'm in here and I'm pottering. And I'm all out of a potter. Um, I've been and had a shower, which he told me not to do if he was not here. But I'm all right. Yeah, I'm okay. Um, consequently, I can't find my silicone powder. I can't find my brushes, you know, for doing the silicone powder with. And, yeah. Do you know, he even put the baby's car seat on top of some dolls. Would you believe that? Oh, dear, oh, dear. And when I said, what have you done? He said, don't you moan, he said. Oh, I've had to go in there and clear up after you. But he didn't. I mean, he could have left everything as it was. But what he did was, he was clearing all the chairs, the table and everything else so that I could sit and eat my food at a, oh, oh, at a table. Um, yeah, so that's where we are at the moment. A lot better than what it was. I don't know when I was last with you. I, I couldn't... I haven't got a clue. What are you doing? Ruby, up to no good. You behave. Yeah, so... I'm not doing much. I just thought I must come and say hello because I don't know if I'll get her back again this week. And I've got Lily here. I want to get my new baby out. I want to, um, I intended to, because she's overweighted, so I, was, I intended to find some new um, cable ties or zip ties, I think you call them in the US. And I was going to redo her, reweight her, or, or just take some weight out. Uh, but I can't do that because the boxes where all my stuff is, I'm, I'm not getting all that out today. So, anyway, Lily. L Lily, oh Lily. Yeah, she's just going to go into this great uh, woolen thingy-majiggy. Uh, that is her brother's, really. And I haven't got any scratch mitts, so... I could put socks on that. Oh, don't bother. Just go for it, for goodness sake. Yeah, we go for it. Keeping her all warm and snuggle bugs. Oh. 
Yeah, so I haven't done anything. I haven't even felt like watching any YouTube. I thought I'm, I'm catching up on a few. Uh, and I saw, I know I'm late for Halloween. Susie Q, or Susie Q's Little Haven has done Halloween tag. I'm going to attempt that in a moment. Shouldn't take you long. <laughs> because as you know, in the UK, we don't really... We, well, people do celebrate. See, so people do now celebrate Halloween and have Halloween parties. If they, well, I think that the adults like it for a big booze up. But yeah, no. But, um. Anyway, I'll find the questions. Let me just find the questions. I've just taken a photo of them so I know. Right, so Susie Q, Susie Q's Happy Little Haven. So, Gal, I'm not going to be able to do much of this, but I'll, I'll give you my best shot. I've got to take my glasses off to be able to see it. Oh, no, come on. What are you doing? There we go. It's, oh, it's telling me to beautify. I don't think I want to beautify my writing. There we are. Now, number one, do you decorate your house for Halloween? Yes or no, if so, inside or out, or both. No. No. Uh, when the kids were little, I think we, d we did a f couple of pumpkins or whatever, but no, we don't. I mean, I've got a button left over. It's clever, isn't it? Where's that one go? Actually, I think it goes on that one. It doubles up, that one. Um, yeah, so no. Number two, how many trick-or-treaters do you usually get? A lot, a few, or none? Well, since moving here, I think we've been here about 12, 13 years, I don't know. We don't get any. Not zilch, none at all. Never have one. Where we lived before, I'm just going to have these little frilly socks on. Uh, where we lived before, we used to get loads in the house. We got loads. And I did like it. I, did, I started really enjoying seeing the little ones come to the door and I had sweets out and all sorts, you know, I was all ready for them. Unless I, because I used to work nights, I was a night nurse. So on the nights that I worked, I used to still use leave the sweets and say to the girls, you know, um, Obviously, Peter was home, but he wasn't going to answer any doors. I used to say to the, my daughter, our daughters, there's the sweets, you know, give them to the kids when they come to the doors and what have you. Yeah, only to find out the little devils never answer the door and all the sweets themselves. <laughs> so, no, we don't get any now. I think because we're on a, um, it's a little cul-de-sac. I couldn't believe it. The first couple of years that we were here, I still got all the sweets in, and but then I'd end up eating them all. And um, we don't get any. It's on a slight hill. So you have to come off of the main road and come up this hill. And it's all bungalows. So I think you call them, I don't know, do you call them condos? One, you know, they're all on one floor, a bungalow. And um, whether it's because it's off the road, I mean, it's a road, it's not, it's not off the beaten track, <laughs> but nobody comes, not one. Um, what do you hand out to your trick-or-treaters? Chocolate bar, hard candy, healthy treats or something else? Well, as I say, when I used... What is she doing? Ruby, stop it. Um, when I used to get trick-or-treaters, I used to buy the multi-packs of little sweets and, you know, all individually wrapped little sweets or what have you, all chocolates or whatever was on offer. You, you often went about that time, you go and find, you go and find stuff on offer. And, uh, I used to buy those. Uh, one year I did run out and i gave out grapes and told them they was witches eyeballs i don't know whether they was impressed or not but <laughs> that's what they had to have um 
Do you have a Halloween party at your house or attend one? Never in my life. Uh, I've attended one which I took the children to. It was a child's party. And my oldest daughter is as blonde as blonde can be. And I did her hair black, but I had to warn her not to lean against any walls or anything. Um, because this spray on stuff you got at the time, it does come off, or it did come off. But yeah, that's the only one. Oh no, I lie. In my teens, I went to a, a party, a Halloween party at a, a disco. We don't have discos. Oh, sorry, are you wobbling? Discos. Um, yeah, went to this Halloween party. And if you dressed up, you got in for free. I was a, was I a witch? I think I was a witch. I went and hired costumes. And my boyfriend at the time, he dressed up as a witch in a miniskirt. <laughs> yeah. So he had long, dark hair. So he's quite good as a woman. <laughs> uh, what is your favourite Halloween character? Ghosts, witches, bats, gooey, gory monsters or cutie monsters? Well, oh, wow, I don't know. Oh, that's it. So I lost the picture then. Um, cutie monsters are good. And witches. I like bats as a creature. I, I do like bats, but yeah. Oh, I haven't got a, I haven't got one really, yeah. Like Casper type things, they're nice, aren't they? But yeah. Number six, do you like caramel apples? Well, I think you mean our toffee apples. We call them toffee apples, but they're really, really hard. Really hard here. And you break your teeth. So no, I don't eat them anymore. Um no, don't eat them anymore. And uh now I think you can buy them covered in chocolate and things like that. But no, I don't even bite into an apple anymore. I'd, I'd cut it into pieces, into segments and eat it like that. So no, I wouldn't eat a toffee apple. Um, unless you, you, I mean, you might have soft, do you have soft caramel on an apple? I don't know. We don't, so no, I wouldn't eat them. Right. Number seven, do you dress your reborn dolls in Halloween costumes? Well, I did this year. As you would have seen if you'd seen my last photo, the one I disabled myself after. <laughs> yeah, um, I did then, but not, not often, not often, but I did that this year. And do you dress up for Halloween? Well, no, because I'd only be dressing up for Peter, wouldn't I? And um, he think I he thinks I'm nutty now, so he think I'm nutty anyway. <laughs> anyway, there she is. There she is. I just put this. It's a hair clip. I just put it on her hat. It just makes it look pretty pink, eh? Pretty pink. Makes you matches up with your shoes. I don't. I don't know how much you can see of her. I really don't. Um, as I say, you're balanced on, what are you balanced? You wouldn't believe you're balanced on a wicker basket, my sewing box, a book, and a pack of Diet Pepsis, and you're balanced on the top. Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to try and sort out my babies. I don't know where, he wanted to get rid of them. He found my, do you know, the amount of months and months I've had that car seat, that my friend sent me. If you go back over my videos, you will see I've got a car seat. Our friend sent it to me and um, for display my babies in. Well, he thought it was the car seat that I keep in the car for our grandson. Uh, when my mum was alive, I used to pick up my one of my grandsons and my, my one of my daughters every week and go over there uh, once a week. And uh, on a Monday, and so I always kept a car seat in my car and he thought it was that one. But the one in the car now is massive because he's a big boy, he's five. And uh, this is a baby seat I've got in here. 
Anyway, the other day when I did get up to have a look, see what Peter was at because he banned me to the sofa and that's where I had to stay. And uh, I said, well, you can put that back. He went, no, it's going back in the car where it belongs. I said, it doesn't come from the car. He said, of course it does. It's Jackson's. I said, no, it belongs in the other room. I said, uh, my friend Chris sent it to me. What the hell for is going? So, yeah, I've got to find somewhere to put it now. He wasn't impressed. But I might just sit it on top. I've got a stack of boxes here with my reboiling stuff. Now, if they don't collapse, I might put it on top of there. Because he shoved it. Would you believe he'd shoved it on top of some dolls? Yeah. So, luckily, I had this wicker basket that you're sitting on that Lily was in. You saw the other, you saw it the other week or the other day, whenever. And so the handle protected her, but I wouldn't have been impressed if it squished her. I really wouldn't. So there she is. Say hello, tired girl, aren't you? Tired girl. Right. Oh, some milk. Some milk. Yeah. You're not very thirsty. You're not really thirsty, are you? No. I'm going to go. Um, nothing planned. Nothing planned because I've been banned from doing anything. As I say, he let me cook. I was able to stand up and cook and he let me cook. And uh, But he's been doing the washing up. I don't normally let him because it takes him so blooming long and it does wind me up. <laughs> but I have to leave him to it now. And um, even Feb Ruby the other day, which is most unlike him because he won't do things like that. Oh, I've just seen the, uh, the gel that I put on dummies. I've just seen that on the bookshelf. So I don't know where everything else has gone to. I haven't got a clue. Uh, that might be in the in the cot underneath. There's a load of clothes and stuff and bags and oh god, I don't know. I, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try and sort it out anyway. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely time. Have a, well, yeah. <laughs> if you're not feeling well, I hope you feel better soon because it's not nice, is it? No, it's not nice to be aches and pains. But there we go. I've got my walking stick here. Oh, uh, uh, I couldn't even walk the other day. When I did get off the floor, you wouldn't believe I couldn't stand. I couldn't bend. I got my leg in a funny position, bent, but not bent my arm, but I couldn't straighten it. And yeah, terrible. And I had to walk with the stick. I couldn't even walk without it. I can now, but he won't let me. And I've got, I've got it anyway. So I'll see you soon. Hopefully I'll see you soon. And I better go. This is about 19 minutes long and it's been taking me ages. Oh, look, sorry, you can't see her. There she is. Yeah, it's been taking me ages to upload lately. So I'm going to go and try and sort this out. Look. Try and sort this out. I have removed several things and you've been balanced on top of there today. Oh, and the car seat's down there. I've moved that out of the way. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know where I'm going to put anything. But never mind. I've got an empty bed down there that I'm going to have to st stand this basket in because I know I've got nowhere to put the basket. Unless I put the... I could put the car seat down there and the basket on the on top of there I see I'm going to sort do a little bit of sorting anyway before my leg gives in away again right there she is my little puppet I'm going to go bye bye see you soon fingers crossed